Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today I will just show you what I've done over the last couple of weeks and talk you through what I'm going to do next. So I'll show you the front of the car first. It's taken about a week to get the front end somewhere near as far as smoothness, size, um, angles. So um, yeah, it just gives you a sort of an idea of how it's going to look. I'm not going to completely finish it, i.e. sort of get all the pinholes out of it and, and finalise it until I've done the rear of the car just in case I want to make any drastic changes to the front after I've designed the rear completely. And I've just started going up the sills with the body filler and up towards the back of the car. I have ordered the Lexan window kit about a week ago and I had an email to say it was gonna arrive in about a month's time, which is a bit of a shame because I wanted to get the window in before I started sanding the back down. So yeah, I've changed my plan slightly and I'm just gonna wing it as in, no pun intended. So today I'm going to start on sanding down some of the rear quarter, get it even as I can and then I'll um, going to try a slightly different technique of getting the base layer of the auto body filler on the rear quarters and it should hold a bit better. of this area here is about where I want it um, at the end so <laughs> I have put probably too much filler on so I need to take it down quite a way before I put any body filler on. on the car that hasn't dried completely still so my plan is to make some small holes um, sink them in sort of 10 mil and just basically hopefully they'll work as plugs so when I put the body filler on top it will create little stability patches where it will go further in where I've drilled the holes to stop it pulling off the base filler because when this dries out it might pull off from the body filler once it's dry. So we'll see if it works.
been piling on the layers of filler on the sills and the rear quarters on both sides so tomorrow I will get on with some sanding First session done on this side, I've just put some more um, filler on. It, it did start to blister a little bit on the top there. So I'll start on the other side. going to continue on the rear quarter panels the near side needed the glue treatment like the uh, offside so hopefully it's dry by now and I've also um, glued the metal plate the extender plate as well because that was um, sticking down on the end Once I get to a point where I think I have the material on the car that I need, I will start allocating areas where I'll specifically put the filler um, that needs it. So I won't be doing coats over the entire panel. So the easiest way to do that is to basically mark it up so you're not sort of figuring it out while the filler's drying. Um, so you can kind of take your time and um, actually put it in the most suitable area. So that's what I'll do is just mark out areas that need some more filler and I can also make notes as where areas need to be reduced as well. start to get an idea of the shape now um, all the lines like the around the light area um, are starting to come together a bit so you can kind of see how it will um, look I've also done some more work on um, the front of the sills so you can see where it's kind of like more of a natural line that joins the front bumper or the front wing where the two panels join will probably be in the middle somewhere which is actually where the stock 206 join is I still have the pieces um, that go on the doors to do so I've just been putting some filler on to get some strength into the piece itself but these all need sanding back and then I can get the correct line at the bottom of the door um, so it all looks sort of as it should once I um, get it on the car 
As I've been putting filler on the car, I've been doing various measurements just to make sure it's roughly the same either side. Um, obviously you can't look at both sides at the same time, but um, certainly from the front, looking at the front and the back at the same time, you can tell if um, it's out. So um, yeah, I've just been doing measurements as I go along. I do actually need to redo the tire pressures um, so I know exactly where it stands, but um, at the moment it's somewhere near. For the rear quarter panels, I'm most likely going to have the um, fiberglass piece go to this window line and then I haven't decided how far to go up this part here but I'll most likely go probably to about there and I can either blend it in or actually create some kind of piece or arrow that can um, basically bridge the gap between the car and then the fiberglass piece or I could fill it and make it look like it's um, always been on there. Most tricky parts are actually going to be these sort of more complicated areas that are quite small. It's just getting the right angles in that such a tighter spot. These parts you can see here are not going to be part of the rear quarter so I'm just going to bring the line of the quarter panel all the way down the outside so I'll actually make pieces that go inserts that go into the um, side of the car that will run the air through um, it's a lot easier to make the quarter panel that way as well so the quarter panel will actually come up to here and then out to the side and then around looking at the sides um, of the rear quarters from here gives you a good idea of how high it's been raised so um, it will look um, quite unique in the, the back part where it raises up um, and then will be shrouded around the back you see on the rear wheel arches where it kind of flares out at the end I've done the same design on the front of the car as well so um, that gives it a kind of unique look you can see the amount of dust in here um, or filler it's uh, everywhere there's piles of it on the floor around the car so far I've used uh, one two three four five tins so 15 kilos of body filler on the car and I have, well that's almost full, and I have another one here. So it might get me through, um, to be honest. Now it's just a matter of um, finding all the low spots and just putting a lot less um, volume of filler on. So um, yeah, but it still takes a lot of time. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the general layout. I don't think I'm gonna have to change the front. Um, so that'll be its kind of basic shape. And then there will be some more aero um, like little um, plates on the front bumper and on the side of the rear wing so um, there will be a bit more to it but uh, that's the basic shape. Well if you've made it to the end thank you for watching. If you've liked the video make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I shall um, see you next time.